Hello and welcome to another Magic 2014 gameplay. Today we are playing Bounce and Boon, the mono white deck that tries to return its own creatures to gain incremental advantage and tries to do all sorts of shenanigans along the way. Alright, so this hand is decent. We have turn 1, turn 2 play and a Cloud God Ranger for turn 5, which combines very nicely with Soul Warden. So I think we can keep and go for a Soul Warden right away. Thermorphic Expanse can mean pretty much anything. There's some decks that play the other one, the other version, I think it's Evolving Wilds. Getting a Mountain. Can't quite see the art, so could be slivers. Um, we're just gonna go with a lone missionary and then Soul Warden beatdown. Hoping to draw some way to get our creatures back in hand. So we can try and replay the missionary to trigger the Soul Warden once again. We have all the lands for our Cloud Good Ranger, so we don't really need to draw more land. And this is a turn where we figure out what our opponent's playing. Our opponent carefully deciding what land to play, maybe. It's gonna be a forest into predatory sliver. Alright, so we're playing against slivers. Not a surprise. And please no land. Alright, Cathar's Crusade. Pretty sure we're gonna play this before we drop the Cloud Goat Ranger. Um, still would like a 3 or 4 drop here before turn 5. I am going to offer the trade here with the Missionary and uh, Sliver. Because we want to try and trade as many creatures as possible with the Sliver deck. Our opponent denying the trade and we can't reliably keep our missionary back as a blocker because pretty much any sliver can make his 2-2 bigger. So at least we got in for 2 damage this way. Another turn of Morphic Expanse, probably the reason our opponent took so long on the previous turn. Is gonna probably get a planes. Unless he's got one in hand. Nope. Alright, so. Alright, and a Rampant Growth as well. So next turn is going to be a little scary for us, but this turn it's only going to be 2 damage probably. Or we could keep it back to uh, keep off our Soul Warden, which is probably safer in his position. Nope, it's going to get in for the 2 damage here, which is fine for us. Alright, another Soul Warden. Well, let's attack. And next turn is gonna be good for us, but this turn is gonna be a little lackluster. At least if our opponent plays something like Hive Stirrings, we're gonna get a lot of life back. And only having one sliver in play is also good for us, because the more you have the scarier it becomes. If he plays something like the double striking sliver, would we'll take four here, and then a lot more next turn. But once we drop Crusade into Ranger, we should be in a good position. Gonna gain two life from the blur sliver, go up to 27 and then back down to 22. Next turn our opponent could also drop a Magantic sliver, which would basically be an overrun. He would deal 5 plus 6 plus 6, 12. So he would deal 17 damage next turn if he has Mechantic Sliver. I think that's the most he can do. So we wouldn't be dead as we would also gain 2 off the Soul Wardens. But I think we kind of have to drop the Crusade here as the Cloud Goat Ranger now wouldn't really win us the game. 
while crusade into ranger would be enough usually for opponent has a way to deal uh, damage to our creatures like the fiery justice we would also be in trouble I think there's no reason to keep back our uh, missionary as um, his creatures would obviously be bigger next turn and uh, if our calculations were correct we shouldn't be in danger of dying next turn and uh, if he attacks with everyone after dropping Megantic Sliver then Cloud God Ranger triggering the Crusade should be enough to pump up the team for the win let's see how our opponent plays this out is he gonna get in with everyone or is he gonna play it safe he's gonna play it relatively safe here leaving back one sliver putting us down to 11 and well we're playing the ranger here so let's see if that's enough for a win Our opponent can only block the missionary and then 10 damage is neatly enough for a win here. Probably a closer game than it looks, our opponent still has 3 cards left in hand. And if one of those is the double striking sliver for example, we probably would be in trouble instead. This is a close victory for Bounce and Boon, I wanna thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and as always, have a nice day.